啊、大家好，我哋 Good afternoon. I've、um, just gone past the scheduled time.、Uh, I now call the meeting to order. Item one: confirmation of minutes of meeting. Minutes of the 18th meeting held on March 24th. Paper LC CB2 1122 stroke 16 to 17. As of now, I have received、uh, no comments、uh, on the minutes. Can I take the minutes as read? All right then. Item two: matters arising. Report. On meeting with the CS, there is nothing in particular to report to members. Item three: business arising from previous council meetings. Legal Service Division report on bill referred to the House Committee in accordance with Rule 54.4. Inland Revenue Amendment Number Three, Bill 2017, Paper LS 51, Stroke 16 to 17. Legal Advisor, please、um, brief us on the bill. Madam Chair, this bill is、um, in connection with、uh, the automatic exchange of financial account information in tax matters, and the bill seeks to、um, to expand the scope of reportable jurisdictions. And there is、um, the the parties、um, cover the.、Um, Jurisdictions of it, who have entered into a CDTA with Hong Kong, and the other thing is to add 72 jurisdictions to the list of reportable jurisdictions. This bill, if enacted, means that the financial institutions、um, will have、um, to exercise due diligence、uh, regarding the financial information of.、Um, Seventy-two jurisdictions, and the in March,、um, the FAA panel was consulted, and members expressed concerns about the protection of personal data privacy and the criteria adopted by the administration in identifying AEOI partners.、Uh, this、uh, will go into effect on the first of July, if enacted. All right, bills committee. Mr. Kenneth Sloan proposes.、Uh, Mr. Rolick Chen. Seconds to refer the circulation. B. Legal Service Division report on subsidiary legislation gazetted on March the twenty fourth and tabled on March the twenty ninth. Paper LS fifty stroke sixteen to seventeen. Legal advisor, please. Madam Chair, there are five items here. The first one is international organisations privileges immunities. European Bank for Reconstruction and Development order. This is to announce that some of the EBRD provisions will have legal force in Hong Kong. This has to do with the status of the EBRD and also the privileges and immunities, and also immunities from judicial proceedings. The senior staff and、um, the general staffs、uh, immunities and the tax exemption. Arrangements. The immunities here are similar to the immunities granted to other、um, it, um, foreign people. This、uh, will come into operation on June the fourteenth. Right?、Um, any SC proposed? No.、Uh, next, please. The next one is import and export strategic commodities regulations amendment of Schedule One Order 2017. This is to update、uh, Schedule One、uh, regarding strategic com commodities. And this is、um, to reflect、um, the. International organisations' uh, latest um, changes. This um, will go into effect um, on um, the third of July, twenty seventeen. No, I see. Right, third, the third item. The third item, Madam Chair, is、uh, occupational retirement scheme fees amendment rules, twenty seventeen. This is to increase. Eight items of fees. They have to do with、um, the also scheme 
and the the fees have to do with the inspection of the register and also the issuance of certified copies of an entry and some of the um, registration fees. According to the administration, um, the it is intended to um, recover the costs. On the 6th of February 2017, FA panel was consulted and no objection was um, raised. And this comes into operation on the 1st of January 2018. SC? No? All right. Item 4, legal advisor, please. Madam Chair, um, the fourth one is Securities and Futures Contracts Limits and Reportable Positions Amendment Rules 2017. This is to amend the um, futures contracts and options contracts and reportable positions in Schedule 1. Um, the futures contracts and options contracts are added, and the uh, report the reported positions uh, will be under the jurisdiction of the SFC, and the SFC is um, authorized to um, to grant. Um, approval to excess authorizations of index arbitrage activity and this um any sc right, item five uh madam chair the, the last one is um the commencement notice securities futures amendment ordinance 2014 commencement notice 2017 and this is a point on the 3rd of july 27 as the day on which part four comes into operation. And this is to amend uh, part uh, 15 uh, regarding the electronic filing requirements of certain types of notifications uh, to make sure that there will be timely disclosure of um, market sensitive information. All right, thanks very much, our legal advisor, subcommittee. No? Just a reminder that uh, for these um, items, the deadline for amendment is 26th of April. Item 4. Legal Service Division Report on Subsidiary Legislation, Gazette on March the 31st, Paper LS 54, Stroke 16, 70. Legal Advisor, please. Madam Chair, this is LN 49, uh, Commencement Notice. This is to appoint um, July 3rd, 2017, as the day on which the Solicitor's Professional Indemnity Amendment Rules 2016 comes into operation. The idea is to improve the operation of the Solicitor's Indemnity Fund and clarify certain clauses and provisions. The uh, Council has set up a subcommittee before to look into this. All right. NSC needed uh, for the commencement notice. If not, just a reminder that um, the deadline for amendment is um, the 10th of May uh, council meeting. Item 5, business for the council meeting on 12th and 13th of April 2017. A. We have um, the report 15, 16, 17 of House Committee regarding subsidiary legislation and other instruments. There are four items. Uh, the amendment period uh, will expire on April the 12th. Questions. There are 12, uh, 22 uh, written questions. Bill, resumption of second reading debate. Appropriation Bill 2017. Members speak. Under RP 36.5, each member would be limited to five or uh, 15 minutes uh, for the speaking time. Bill, resumption of um, second reading committee stage and third reading private column barrier bill on the 24th of March. Members uh, had no objection to this um, being taken for second reading. Mr. Um, Chen Hakan will move um, a motion uh, re regarding the following items. Road tunnels, government amendment regulation 2017, Ching Ma control area, tolls, fees, charges, amendment regulation 2017, and Chen Ching Sha 
control area tolls fees and charges amendment regulation 2017. All the awardings uh, have uh, been made available to members uh, before. Mr. Yuxi Wing, uh, under the Interpretation and General Causes Ordinance 34.4, will move a motion regarding antiquities and monuments declaration of proposed monument Hong Lao notice. And this is to have um, the amendment period extended to the council meeting on May the 10th. Item 6, business for council meeting on April 26. A, questions. We're going to have 22. Uh, written questions. Bills first and second reading. One Road Traffic Amendment Bill 2017. Two Water Works Amendment Bill 2017. We will deal with um, those two items at our count at, at our House Committee meeting on the 28th of April. C Bill Resumption of Debate on Second Reading Committee Stage and Third Reading Appropriation Bill 2017. Response by the Administration. The administration will be making a response to members' uh, comments, and we will be uh, dealing with um, the remainder of the item on that day. The government motion proposed resolution to be moved by the SFST under Section 46 of the MPF Schemes Ordinance, Cap 485. Legal advisor, please. Thank you, Madam Chair. Will members please refer to LS 52, 16 stroke 17. This motion or this resolution seeks um, let's go's approval of the mandatory provident fund schemes fees amendment regulation 2017 made by the CE in council. There are two parts to it. The first one is um, to specify the fees and charges for the intermediaries. All the details are sent out in part 4 of the report. Part 2 of the amendment seeks to increase four items of fees specified in Schedule 3, and all the details are sent out in part 5. According to the administration, the Fees and charges are intended to recover the costs. On the 6th of February 2017, the FA panel was consulted and members raised uh, no objection. This uh, will go into effect on the 1st of um, January 2018. Any SC needed? If not, then the administration will move such motion on the 26th of April. Item 7, Report of Bills, Committees and Subcommittees. A, Report of SC on Copyright Tribunal Rules. Mr. Wong King Kwong, Chair of the SC, please. Madam Chair, the Copyright Tribunal Rules seek to maintain the fairness of the proceedings before the Tribunal on the one hand and make the proceedings um, updated, update the, the um, legal provisions uh, so that they will be flexible, convenient and cost effective. The subcommittee supports the updated rules. Members noted that compared with the existing rules, the new rules are more user friendly as a set of self-contained rules with links and cross-references to the arbitration ordinance delinked. And they are available in both Chinese and English. They will lend themselves to easier comprehension by the members of the public. Members also noted that the rules advocate the use of mediation as alternative dispute to resolution. By mutual consent, the parties may engage in mediation at any stage of the proceedings to expedite the resolution. The subcommittee 
also expressed concerns and views on the use of language in the proceedings of the Copyright Tribunal, the fees chargeable, and also uh, case management. The subcommittee noted that the administration will not move any amendments to the rules. Neither will the subcommittee. The deliberations of the subcommittee are sent out in a report for members' information. Thank, thanks very much, Madam Chair. Just a reminder that um, the rules uh, for amendment, um, the deadline is um, 26 of April. If members uh, would like to move an amendment, um, the deadline for giving notification is the 19th of April or Wednesday. B, report of the subcommittee on the proposed resolution under Section 23.3 of the Road Traffic Ordinance, Cap 374. Paper as uh, LC 798-1670. Mr. Frankie Yick, Chair of the subcommittee, please. Madam Chair, the purpose of the motion is to extend the effective period of the current limit on the number of vehicles registered as public light bus at 4,350 as stipulated in the public light bus limitation on number notice 2016 for five years until the 20th of June 2022. The subcommittee held only one meeting. Members supported the resolution and will not move any amendments. During deliberations, members discussed the appropriateness of the current statutory limit. As the administration will soon introduce a bill to increase the seating capacity of PLBs, a member has asked the administration if extension period can be shortened so that a review can be undertaken after the carrying capacity has been increased. Members also expressed concerns over the operational and driver recruitment difficulties. Members also noted the drafting issues highlighted by the legal advisor as well as the administration's response. The subcommittee's deliberations are sent out in the report for member scrutiny. The subcommittee noted that the administration will give fresh notice for the resolution to be moved at a council meeting on April 26. Thank you, Mr. Frankie Yick. I'd like to remind members that if you want to give notice, to move an amendment to the motion that will be moved at the council meeting on the 26th of April. The deadline for giving notice is the 19th of April, a Wednesday. Item 8, position on bills, committees and subcommittees. Members, please note that as at the 4th or 6th of April, Thursday, there are eight BCs in action. There are 12 SCs under the HC and also five SCs under panels which are in action. On the waiting list, there are six subcommittees on policy issues. Uh, last item, AOB. There is nothing under AOB. The meeting is adjourned. Thank you very much.